back like a boulder You're a Stacey Roper And I ain't got me in a dress I was new as a stand Had a little dream that I came for a visit Is it what you imagined, is it? Up and down, but it don't last too long You can ride no to last What's up everybody? Welcome back to On The Rocks Entertainment As you guys probably already know I'm Jensen and the channel name is On The Rocks Entertainment so we're back in the studio. I got my shades on because my lights are so bright that I might end up cross-eyed on there, which would be funny. Probably get a lot of views. But um, I don't know, am I cross-eyed? I can't tell because I didn't put my field monitor back there. I'm just doing this blind ninja style because you know what, do it your way. Anyway, shooting with a new lens. So this is the old lens. I'm just gonna hold it up there for a while. The kit lens that just came with. So I'm shooting with a Canon M50. Sorry if I forgot to mention that. And this is the lens we're using today. So let that focus right there. Should be the 50 mil. A little picture of the 50 mil on there. You guys can see that thing there. But be advised, you're gonna need one of these adapters um, if you're gonna use this. And this is the EF EOS M adapter. I had the lens about a month before having the adapter and I tried to like, I was like, what? That's how they get you. But anyway, so it's filming on now. Hopefully it looks pretty good. And hopefully you guys made it through the 4th of July, all safe and stuff, you know, all your fingers, all your toes. Personally, I didn't play with fireworks. I just pretty much chilled, chilled out. Definitely didn't watch the news. Because here's a new word for you guys. There's a lot of bukkake on the news. That's right. A lot of bukkake on the goddamn news, man. Every time you turn it on, you got all these global pandemic, social divide, racial divide, hate, 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 hate. It's like high school all over again with the TV. Like, turn that shit off. When you get, see what happens, there's no sports. They just waste their time with. All this negative shit on TV. Seriously. Anyway, I don't want to ramble about that because you know I don't like negativity. It's not what my channel's about. That's not why I started doing this. This is to entertain you guys, inform you guys, and just stay in touch and motivate any way that I know how. Like I said before, life is a four-letter four word. You only get one. Don't waste it on stupid bukkake. That's the new word. So comment down below, Bukaki. I don't know how to spell that. So if you're the first one to put that on there, you're the official spelling. Congratulations. Um, yeah, so new lens on the camera. We are in July. We're still in some weird times, but it is kind of peaceful. You know, um, I, I do feel there's more people traveling around. Did do some little, uh, you know, discoveries and I didn't bring my camera on there because pro tip, I like to go in go through the trails and that stuff first before bringing cameras and stuff in there because you, know, you always got to do your homework and stuff like that so there's a little fact there's a little little nugget of information I live on Kauai which is one of the islands in the chain of Hawaii we are the oldest island and sometimes it feels like we're the furthest removed and isolated in the chain now this island was mostly a plantation to begin with sugarcane pineapple Later on coffee, you get the gist. It's an, it's a, it's an agricultural powerhouse. Um, being, being that, you know, that said, um, there's like probably a, maybe roughly a hundred miles, maybe less than that of road that you can travel and about 82% of it, you're, you're trespassing buddy. So you really got to strategically plan out how you go about trying to venture. It's not like you can just walk into any place you want. There's, there's a lot of hotel property, there's a lot of uh, vacation rental property or private property in general. And uh, that's sad because there's a lot of cool things to see, but you know you have to kind of circumvent a legal way to do it. You don't want to do anything illegal. And I, I would advise that you know if it's, if it's trespassing, stuff like that, man, it's not worth it. You know, find something else to do. And um, so hopefully we take this lens outside and see how it does here. It does have um, manual focus, 
autofocus, uh, the ISO. I wasn't sure how much you know light you needed to to do this. Um, from what I heard, it films a little darker, so I put in one, two, three, four, five lights on there. Kind of overcompensated. Had to put my glasses on for that. So hopefully, I don't know. I don't know if my eyes can like really take this, but let's just be safe and. I don't want to be like cross-eyed on the camera for you guys. But, yep, comment below. You know, did you guys play at fireworks? Or are you guys just chilled like me? And uh, one of my lights just hit the ground there. Anyway, we'll take this outside and we'll, we'll, we'll come back in here. And um, hopefully today we get some, some good shots. And if it takes me more than a day, then that's another... That's another thing I do too. Sometimes I just film in segments. I'll film uh, intros and I'll film the body in the next few days, and put that together and, and patch on an ending. So for anybody who's YouTube creators out there, you guys know, you guys know the storyboard. You guys, you guys know the drill. You know, you gotta start with an idea and you, you gotta have a beginning, a middle and an end. You know, like, like English class all over again which I really didn't pay attention because I probably was looking at some kind of import tuner, lowrider magazine, Sports Illustrated, that kind of stuff. I know you did too. I know you guys, I know you guys probably like read some ele electronic game monthly or something like that. You know, don't front, everybody did it. But anyway, let's go outside and we'll be back. All right, switch to the Canon GX7. I'm inside of the truck, just warming it up, sitting in my driveway. Gotta go in town for a couple things today, so uh, we'll try to use that that, that uh, new uh, M50 lens. I mean, a 50 millimeter lens on M50. Tongue twister. They both have N M's in them, but I didn't even turn on any of my cars yesterday. I didn't go nowhere on the 4th of July. Greatest day ever. Today is the fifth. Let's see how long it takes me to put this up. But yeah, got a couple things I gotta do. And then uh, I wanna see how that lens works outside. A little bit of wind out there too. So maybe I'll just take the audio out, and put some cool music on there for you guys while we test that lens. All right, I'm over here at the uh, Legate Beach, testing this 50 mil and let's see how it works. It's about 9 a.m. in the morning right here. So right in front of me, I'm trying to hold this real still for you guys. We have a lifeguard tower up there and then a bunch of driftwood and a perfectly round little rock formation is a man-made uh, pond called the gate. Outside of that is Wailua. It's kind of brown out there, but the sun feels really good today. And that's like a little fish habitat. Used to be really nice. It looks like the pond is kind of clear right now. But there's a lot of wood in there earlier this year. It's really easy to snorkel in there. One of the safest, you know, places to do that, but the water wasn't that good, but it looks like it's coming back, so. Let's go pan really slow. Again, I don't have the image stabilization on this lens. That's one of the things that are, I'm gonna say the drawback and then kind of zooms in because it's more of a lens to go far but that's what I wanted to do today I wanted to kind of kind of get all there far Looks like there's some gatherings going on like people are trying to pitch little tents probably have barbecues and stuff fourth of July take two let me just try to Sit in the middle of it here. You guys can see the ocean for a while. The sun is just hitting off the water, it's pretty cool. Like I was saying earlier, super quiet. You know, usually it doesn't look like this. You count like the people on my hand. Yeah, way over there. It's like coconut marketplace and stuff is down there somewhere. Up to the point. So 
see how good this picture is when I get back to the studio. When I go to edit this stuff. The playground back there. Let me go back there. So back in the 90s, this is all community built. Bunch of volunteers came together. Started building this Lincoln Log type of playground and then they just kept on building more and more additions to it. Try to get it from the front. There it is, there's a sign. And this lens definitely zooms pretty far, so. I kind of like the wide view of it too. But it makes it a little difficult to get the shot because you got to stand away. Let me try to manual focus. It's pretty cool. It's like a little castle they can walk inside. The kid went in there, I didn't film him, you know, because that's wrong. If he went in there, he's probably like, oh, I see him. He's probably like trying to cruise, get the layout. So, yeah, you know, good thing about this series of cameras is you can integrate different lenses. Uh, I said it before, customization is the key. And once you get your lenses and shit all together, you can kind of figure out what the, the general use for them are. Some of them have better uh, stabilization, some of them have better aperture as far as lighting and color. Some of them have a better view as far as being more of a wide view or a fisheye. And that's what, you know, you, you just gotta always get the most tools that you can. Now look at these tables over here. All right, I'll try to pan slow, but those are a bunch of bungalows out there. Kind of rent them as like vacation rentals. Lots of them. Nobody there. Maybe some workers at the top. This hotel here changed name so much. I don't want to tell you the name because just in case you change it again. Um, a lot of times, like every three years. Big ass park where you can play football or soccer or whatever. Brad could even hit some home runs in here. They have a frisbee contest or fly some kites. And this is that place I was telling you about over here. Hopefully, I mean, this, like I was saying, you gotta like get back because this thing likes to really take an aggressive stance there. So let me try to, yeah. I like the picture on the 50, but I don't know. It's kind of hard to, and then like the stabilization, that's the thing too. And then there's a smaller one right over here next to me. And there's the pond right there, it's the rock wall. Perfectly shaped. There's one guy in there enjoying himself. Oh, no, there's two guys. Another swimmer over there. It's about nine in the morning, so the sun is not full pitch yet. Anybody wanna build some tree forts? I got some trees. We got wood. Then there's a small pond over there. Let me try to see if I can get around this monstrosity and we can get that. Okay, so there's the smaller one. That log pile over there. So for like little kids and stuff, it's way more shallow on that side. They put a sign up, I know you can't see it. It says no fishing in ponds, that should be common sense. So all the fish in there are protected. And that's why it was a good place to snorkel. Sand bottom, you don't have to worry about sharks, you don't have to worry about being so deep that somebody's gonna drown, current, all that stuff. It's like a saltwater swimming pool basically. As long as the water is clean and there's no runoff, there's a lot of runoff in this area. Um, things change, there's more things built in here. Plantations are gone, ditches are not maintained, and there's a river right behind me. It brings a lot of stuff in here that it's a little bit different than 20 years ago. There again, we have the back side of the, the hotel. And it looks like they had a little bar over there. You got some little mountain action range up here. Yeah. People 
will see me with my camera. They're thinking, what the, what the hell is this guy doing? Just don't get in front of the lens if you don't be on TV. That's all. <laughs> all right, you guys, we made it back. It was a pretty good filming out there. But before I go back to the studio, I'll show you guys some little modifications I made over here. You got the, got the pool over here. Set that up. It's pretty deep. You guys want to go inside? I got you. Right there. You guys want to go in there too? I got you. Yep, ready for the summer. All right, you guys, that about wraps it up. And just a little quick test of this lens. See how it does out on the field. You know, it's like it's like you got you know every time you get a new toy, you gotta go and you gotta test it out. You know, you want to see if like it was worth the. Uh, you know, chasing down investment. That's the cool thing about this camera is there's a lot of interchangeable lenses, but they work differently. So if you guys have a different Canon, you know, like a, like an 80 or, you know, some different model, this is a compact, this is, a, you know, not like a full frame one. It's, it's going to act different on different cameras that you put it on. But I do like the idea that you can change the ranges of lenses, that they all do different things. And um, hopefully, I'll get a, a, a bunch of them to see the pros and the cons. And then I can help you guys, just in case you guys are looking for ideas on cameras. Um, when I look for them, I try to look for you know what's kind of cost effective, because let's be real, they're all pretty expensive. You have a grade of hell no, and um, maybe, and I just buy a lot of the maybe ones. They're, 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 they're not like, I mean, they're still expensive, don't get me wrong, but they're not like five, six thousand dollars. That's, that's, that's money I want to put into like a car or something, you know. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for commenting and leaving likes and all that stuff. Hopefully you guys have a great summer because it is summer and uh, I will see you guys on the next one. But until that, just stay chill, you know. Try to smile, be nice to, to people around you. And just remember, life is a four-letter word. You only have one. So spend it the best way you know how. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace, you guys. You take care.